Gemini singles, welcome to the urban jungle. Alright, I'm doing your singles read. Meet your soulmate. This is for the first half of December, guys. It's not a triggery read. It's all I say an always positive read because it's simply asking spirit who is the right one for you. Who is your soulmate? I think there's many. You know, there's like a quiver. You know. So it's not that far fetched, really. We're just asking to align. So there, if you see a three of uh, swords, no one's breaking up with you. Three of cups, no one's cheating. <laughs> no. I'm going to look at the emotional hair font. We're going to pull two cards, two of pentacles. Using the Klimt art deck art deck it's not that naughty um, now we're looking at the intellectual king of Pentacles mm -hmm. Jim and I looking at a powerful person here king of wands very powerful Jesus Christ um, out of four cards you got the Emperor and the king of Pentacles and the hair font so i see the moon here in the emotional i'll see the sun here in the intellectual so we're looking at a taurus moon and i think this two of pentacles uh, indicates that it's a taurus moon that's in the second house now there's a lot of ways to generate free charts really all you need usually is the uh, uh day you get the time <laughs> And if you can get the time, it's important. This should be the, I think the one thing that astrologers would most like to say to the world, the time of birth is very important. Could you please start keeping track of it? It's not too much to ask. And I got to think of Capricorn's son here. And I'm going to say that her son's in the fifth house with this King of Wands. This is extremely powerful energy here. And um, it's just your person. I'm, and number one, I'm not saying they're perfect. They're your perfect one for you. Um, it's going to be uh, someone that's right for you. It's not going to be like a problem. But this is someone's extraordinarily high functioning here. Um, and with this Taurus moon in the second house. Um, they're very traditional and very, very grounded. Like, good luck changing their mind about things. And then two kings in the intellect. But it, I kind of get it that they deserve it, you know. With this king of uh, pentacles being the sun. And that being um, Capricorn there. Um... You know, it's always going to want to climb the goat. It's always going to get want to get better and better. So this is someone that likely went through to at least a bachelor's level, if not greater, uh, education, but is autodidactic and has continued ed education as well, uh, and possibly in, in formal ways as well. So... Um, Very strong personality here. Um, this is someone that would be very commanding. I don't know, male or female, if you were to meet them, you would just have the energy. This is someone that's like a planet, and you would just want to orbit around them. I, I see this this hermit, uh, this uh, hierophant is so, such a, a clear, you know, if you look at the car itself, kind of forget the gown. Mainly that face. Uh, and uh, this is someone that didn't spend a second on earth ever wondering like who and what they are either. So from a very early age, they knew who they were. And you look even at this two of pentacles, a mother taking care of the children. You know, in this reading, it's just solid energy. Um. We could see an uh, only child and a single mother here. And you would just want to say two children might have a sibling. But it shows a solid uh, childhood. 
uh, which uh, a Taurus moon very much needs. Uh -huh. And even, you know, to make fun of Taurus a little bit, even the gaudy uh, robe for this uh, really, I guess it could be the Pope, uh, for his robe um, is pretty uh, spectacular, fabulous, guys. Um, just trying to get some idea how they may present themselves. There's like a Venetian energy to this person, and um, uh, there's a king energy. Um, so somebody literally you might think that uh, they're kind of regal in the way they are, but at the same time, Venetian, as in Libra, always comes into that, Taurus or not. Um, and that is um, uh, polite and socially uh, polite and um, innocuous seeming you know I'm not saying they're not innocuous it's just uh, how that would be but I also think we're dealing with someone that's very charismatic so that would have to come through just in their personality I don't think when you first meet them when you get to know them as you inter get, interact with them um, there's someone that's confident here king of wands very forthright, very confident. Now, looking at their love and the sexual nature, here would be Venus, Two of Wands, energy for this Capricorn personality. And that's going to look to me like an Aries Venus, which even is beginning to make sense, you know. Aries, Venus, uh, they're going to want to go out and get uh, what they desire. You know, Venus is also, as well as uh, our relationship planet and energy, it's uh, what it is, it's our desire nature. What is it that we desire? What is it that we have valuable? Back to the Hierophant in the second house, Two of Pentacles. That's all about self worth, too, and what we find actually valuable. So. Venus and Aries on the hunt in the strength card back to the Sun back to the fifth house because that's Leo strength and you might not have a Leo Mars I think you might also then have a Leo um, um, Aries uh, Mars you know fire Venus and a fire Mars so this is someone your person here well in terms of their love and sexuality um, they're going to be very uh, passionate and it's kind of a male female energy energy how you want to uh, slice that a romantic energy it's like uh, hey you know I want you do you want me um, in terms of uh, it could even be like frisky and I think that this will be a little different uh, like most people would be able to really imagine them in this energy and it won't really maybe show it so much although they might be with this uh, Leo energy's fifth house sun here so it is coming up strong uh, for them and um, the Aries um, they're very well grounded you know Taurus moon cancer sun um, so have, they can handle this fire mm -hmm. So it's like I get the feeling that when they want something, when they need something, they can take constructive action in their own interest to get it. That's what Venus and Mars kind of is about at the crudest level. But in terms of a, a lover, um, they would, uh, they're going to tend to want you to push back a little bit sometimes at least. It don't always roll over for them. That's a little bit of the Aries energy uh, and Venus particularly, I feel. Your Venus kind of also your love uh, um, patterns, could, your way you kind of tend to want to be. Um, and, you know, they're going to want someone they feel like it's a little bit of a challenge. It's almost like hunting, you know, Mars, the warrior there, you know. So, um, and then in terms of uh, going after what they want, I think they very well can. But I think they would be very well aligned before they would do that. 
Uh, but when they do, it's like when they go after what they want, that would very much include you or love, you know. Um, um, they are very concentrated and uh, focused and take it very seriously. And I just get successful, you know, honestly successful. Seven of Wands, this is in the core values and the lifestyle area, Jim Nice. With the Hermit, wow. I don't think it's New Year's. <laughs> it's a beautiful evening. So the Seven of Wands here, you have to look again. It has this Aries energy. This look, driving a sword through the bowl. And it has Taurus energy. This person has self-mastery, which is a hermit. And... Um, very hard for me to tell. I'm trying to decide if I even want to pull a clarifier. Anything about what it is they do. Um, but they are fiercely uh, internal. And what they do is a deeply internal thing. You know, this is someone who I could very much see being a writer. Uh, something they do it uh, in an almost internal way. Even until it's presented to um, anyone else. Um, in terms of the house, they're going to want to be quiet. They're going to want like time alone to, um, you know, uh, not in a bad way. And they're in the habit of defending themselves, taking action if necessary. Remember they have the fire of Venus, fire of Mars. Um, essentially, I believe from the outside world, and, and what you see this uh, Mars energy is now stabbing the uh, Toro. Uh, I believe this is someone that kind of is rejecting the status quo. Here you have someone who's rejecting um, the nine to five, rejecting kind of um, the whole materialist culture and someone who might be taking it really rather seriously too, okay? and how they do it exactly and remember this person with the king of the pinnacles and the king of wands and their intellectual they're they're uh, extraordinarily intelligent and capable i mean think about what kings could do and accomplish you know um so whatever it is that they're involved with um it um uh, it'd be interesting to be able to sit down and have them really open up and talk to you about it about it so I think whatever it is they do it's going to be very unusual and kind of fascinating let me know if when this happens to predict a read okay assuming you're single this would be in the future first half of December guys and uh, so let me know when this comes down if it doesn't come down this way thank you Gemini's